What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com. Recapping the news from yesterday, like always we post it first on SneakerFiles.com and then we take it to YouTube. Before I jump into the news, I just want to let you guys know that the Air Jordan 4 Pure Money Review and On Feet is live. I'll put a link in the description below if you haven't checked it out yet. Now as far as highlights go, we have a first look at the Air Jordan 8 Bread. Another look at the Air Jordan 11 Low IE Fire Red as well as the Navy Edition. We have a new image of the PSNY Air Jordan 12 Wheat. From Nike, we got a bunch of Nike Air Max Flare releases. We have another look at the Off-White Nike Air Max 90 and a look at some upcoming Nike Air Vapor Max models. We also got Adidas too. We got a few NMDs. We have an Adidas EQT collaboration as well as another look at the Adidas Ultra Boost run through time. Now that's not all the shoes covered, but a good amount of highlights if you're a fan of Adidas, Nike, Jordan Brand, one or the other or all three. But without wasting too much of your time, let's jump into the news. Adidas Originals will debut a new NMD R2 known as Triple White, but this time around it's not your traditional Triple White. Yes, it's done predominantly in white, which covers the prime knit upper, boost, outsole, tongue, liner, etc, etc. However, there is black used on the back heel tab. I believe this marks the second Adidas NMD R2 being called triple white um, when the initial launch happened there was another pair that had like polka dots and a little bit of gray at the time of shooting there isn't a set release date but expected to drop at select adidas originals retailers very soon more in nmd news we have a new adidas nmd r1 prime knit pack which is being called zebra so the zebra print which was originally seen on the yeezy it's not quite like that but it has i guess somewhat of a zebra print to it um, i'm not sure where the nickname really came from to be honest i'm sure there's could be a few better ones but one pair is done in white the other in black and the reverse color is used for the actual print on the black base pair we have black which lands on the eva pod overlays eye stays in the back hill while the white pair features white on the pod overlays as well as the eye stays but black is used on the back hill the two will feature white on the boost midsole and white on the outsole again no set release date but expected to drop sometime soon at select Adidas Originals retailers. New images of the Adidas Ultra Boost Mid run through time has landed, and this of course gives us a better look. Now, looking closer, they feature shades of blue across the prime knit upper, and they also have an extended collar, which is why they're being called mid. On the back heel counter, there's a lighter shade of blue, white on the three stripes branding, as well as the boost midsole, and black on the outsole. In addition, we have a handshaking logo on the inside of the tongue, along with the French flag. The same shaking hand logo is seen on the insole, as well as consortium written all over. Still, we don't have a set release date, but they're expected to drop sometime during July. Once more information becomes available, I'll make sure to update you. Overkill, based out of Berlin, is collaborating with Adidas Originals for an Adidas EQT pack known as Coat of Arms. The pack pays tribute to Kurtzberg, an area of Berlin, which is where Overkill is located. Now there's two Adidas EQT models in the pack, one is the Adidas EQT Support ADV, the other is the Adidas EQT Support Future. The EQT Support ADV features grey with black along with red accents and we have the Overkill logo that lands on the ankle strap. The EQT Support Future comes in shades of grey along with red stripes while Overkill's logo lands on the instep. The two will first release exclusively at Overkill on May 20th. Following additional retailers will have them on May 27th. Retail for the EQT Support ADV is 150, while the EQT Support Future is priced at 180. You can expect Nike to debut a full Be True collection once again in 2017, and here we have a closer look at the Nike Flyknit Racer. The Be True series is inspired by the LGBT community that represents conviction and commitment, pairing two prominent symbols of pride: the rainbow flag and pink triangle. As you can see, it features white across the panels, which wraps the hill as well as running across the lower part of the midsole and then we have black detailing as well and the swoosh is done in a rainbow theme completing the look is be true on the tongue so we don't have a release date or even a retail price however it's possible they drop in june 
but more information on the way. For its initial launch, the Nike Air Max Flare will debut in a handful of colorways, which will take place on May 20th. First up to show you is the white and pure platinum edition. As you can see, the Air Max Flare is inspired by the Nike Air More of Tempo. This pair features white textile mesh across the uppers. Air is outlined in pure platinum. We got a translucent midsole and a full visible air unit. Dropping May 20th, retail will be 120. Next, we have the Nike Air Max Flare being called Raging Bull. And as you can see, a vibrant red covers the uppers and then black outlines the large air, lands on the Nike branding on the heel, midsole, outsole, liner, as well as a little bit on the tongue. So this pair is probably my favorite of the bunch, although we're going to see a few additional colorways in a second, and those are actually clean as well. But also dropping May 20th, retail will be 120 Foot Locker Europe shared an image of a bunch of upcoming Nike Air Max Flare releases. Now, they're saying that it's an exclusive to Foot Locker Europe. First off, the white pair, which is seen on feet, that pair is releasing across the globe, as well as the black and white pair. Now, as for the red and white, cargo green, and yellow and black, it's unknown if it's an exclusive to Foot Locker. They're claiming it is, but it's highly possible we'll see a wider release on those three. Overall, I think the Nike Air Max Flare isn't a bad shoe. Um, I plan on picking one of them up just to see how they handle, see you know what they're about. But the 120 price tag is very reasonable. I thought it'd be a bit higher. From this whole set, I want the Raging Bull pair, and I might just pick up the black and white pair because that's an original Nike Air more of Tempo release. Nike Sportswear is going to have new models of the Nike Air Vapor Max, which will probably mean that new names will be attached to them. First up is what's being called the Nike Air Vapor Max 2018. The name is not confirmed, however it features a slip-on build as well as an elastic strap. For this pair, it has a multicolor theme, black on the outsole, and overall I think these are dope and I probably will wind up picking them up. The next pair I'm not a fan of, but it features blue across the uppers and we have a cage and that cage just, I don't know, they got four stripes on it, I don't know what Nike's doing here, maybe they're trying to send a signal or maybe I'm just over exaggerating and of course the traditional Vapor Max visible air unit the next one to me I know I might be reaching it kind of resembles that of the Air Max 97 the overlays that is but that's about it for this pair I mean other than that it features your traditional Nike Air Vapor Max build but that overlay really reminds me of the Nike Air Max 97 for these three models, we don't have release information or a retail price. I'm sure in the coming months we'll see closer looks at the three, but leave a comment below and let me know from these three what do you like best. For me, it's the 2018 edition. New images of the off-white Nike Air Max 90 Ice has landed. Now, we've already gone over the shoes actually in yesterday's video, so I won't do that. What I've heard is that off-white is going with an inside-out theme, not an unfinished theme like we thought but either way this pair is dope and from this look not only do we get to see a better look at the translucent midsole and outsole also a brief viewing of how they look on feet no release date retail price anything like that however it's being reported that the collection the full entire collection is going to be unveiled soon which means we'll get to see all the other models as well as the air jordan 3 which i'm waiting on on to jordan brand and starting things off we have a closer look at the air jordan 11 low ie being called navy now it isn't confirmed if they actually use navy but for the sake of this video we'll just say blue or a dark shade of blue that is across the uppers we have that dark shade of blue which is constructed with leather as well as suede on the midsole we have white on the outsole it's a milky translucent hue still we don't have a release date retail price but i'm going to guess they're going to drop sometime during the summer and as you guys probably already know they're going with this blue and red theme um, we're going to see it on the Air Jordan 11, now the Air Jordan 11 Low IE, the Air Jordan 5, and I'm sure I'm missing something else. We also have new images of the Air Jordan 11 Low IE Fire Red, and as I just said, they're going with the blue and red theme releases. And if you missed yesterday's video, I mentioned that the color of red used isn't really Fire Red, but it's Gym Red. Just wanted to throw that out there, and as you can see, that lands on the overlay, and you can see elephant print used. Red is also placed on the translucent outsole. We got white across the base done in leather and black on the liner as well as Jumpman on the tongue. This isn't confirmed, but I have down September 2017. Like I previously said, they could debut later or a bit earlier. I'm thinking a bit earlier, more 
probably in the lines of late August or mid August, we have a new image of the PSNY Air Jordan 12 Wii. And at first I thought, huh, this looks a lot different from the previously seen images. But I believe the leaked photos before, it was due to the lighting. So it looks almost like it's all wheat, but the pair shown, it more looks like it's all of across the uppers and then a true wheat outsole. But this pair gives us a bit of a closer look, premium new buck across the uppers, and then we have the public school hang tag and gold on the eyelets. Rumored to release during June, and retail will be 300. There's also at least three other colorways releasing, possibly four, and it's expected to be a regional release. I'm not sure how they're gonna do it, but I'm sure late May, or if they drop in June, we'll hear something in late May, or even in the beginning of June. We have our first look at the Air Jordan 8 being called Bread. This pair will release during the summer. I'll have a bit more information towards the end of this segment. But looking closer, as you can see, leather and new buck is used across the uppers. We have wolf gray that lands on the midsole, the upper part that is, as well as the unique graphic that is seen on the Air Jordan 8. We also have red on the outsole and the jump man that's seen on the outsole is done in white. What I have down is they're gonna drop sometime in August and that could be push forward, push back and retail will be 190. And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfiles.com and then we take it to YouTube. From this video, what I'm feeling, the Air Jordan 11 Low IE Fire Red. Yes, I know that model doesn't get a lot of love, but I always say, you know, buy what you like. This pair, I plan on buying, but I also think it's going to be a GR. So in that case, um, since people do not like this model, they will sit. Next is the PSNY Air Jordan 12 Wheat. More than likely, I won't be able to get my hands on them. The, I got lucky and got the first PSNY drop, and those are dope. But, you know, with the PSNY, it's stuff, it's limited usually, and... Um, they just it goes fast a lot of people do like it so that being said I probably won't be able to get them the Air Jordan 11 low ie Navy that might be a pair I pick up that's one of those I would like to get them in hand see them and from there I'll make my decision but also if that's a GR and it goes on discount and I mean really low then without a doubt I'll pick them up the Air Jordan 8 bread, I'm 50-50 on it right now. I believe that maybe a white midsole would have looked better, but again, I would need to see more images. Last but not least is the Nike Air Max Flare Raging Bull. I'm going to pick one of them up. I want that particular pair just because it looks dope and um, it's an attention getter for sure. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you liked from this video, what you disliked. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfalls.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.